hi there again and welcome to the next part of the iPhone 4 tutorial so in the parts before we did all the modeling now we just need to do the materials textures and the render and we'll be done so let's go back here for a while just a moment uh, select this uh, poly which we did before and copy it because on this we will apply the uh, icon map the main screen actually so main screen iPhone 4 and now select it and drag it down drag it down that it will be like on the edge of the model Oops. a little bit yeah like this so we have the main screen and now let's do the materials before we will assign uh, separately some parts that will have different materials uh, so on the top everything is black what I remember just uh, some things is different so I will select the poly everything and give to this the ID of 1 Now, I will go here, this will have uh, material 2, uh, let's select uh, this stripe here, or let's try to select this stripe here, let's ring it, it will be much better, this and zoom it a little bit, this, this, Bring it, control poly, grow it two times. Now, this will have ID 3. Now, somewhere here should be uh, the class. I think I give to it. Uh, no, it should be a different object. So, I will try to search here for it. So for this, uh, we will just apply a texture of the glass, nothing else. So we have the camera here. Now let's go here again. Select this poly. Now here will be the grid. Grow it once more. We have the uh, one, two, three. So this should be four, if I could remember. Now to make it more interesting, I will select this poly and sign the uh, something else. Control poly, and this will be five. The last thing uh, will be this button here. So let's select the edge here on the top. Ring it. Control poly, and grow, grow, grow. Maybe shrink once, no, grow. And this will be the sixth material on the top. So I hope we have all materials here. Now let's hide this selection. We'll have these two more. To see, uh, we can hide them too, hide selection. Now, like before, we have still this here, but uh, like I said, we will not do anything about this. Select everything and get it the ID of one. Now I will try to select these ones here inside because this should be black. Ring this. I will select also this one and ring it as well. And control poly and grow just once. Oops, no, I was ringing too much, I think. So first, uh, let's go ring this part. So again, select and ring. Or better, control poly, grow, grow. Let's do this second material. Uh, let's go here uh, again. Select this edge, ring that. 
Uh -huh, I see the problem here. These are like these on the top, and the same here on the other side. Control poly, no. There have to be one more. So, oops. Okay, back edge again. Well, there is nothing selected, so but it looks like there is still uh, too many selections there. And I don't know what this is doing. Again, something I don't like too much. But anyway, I'll deselect it manually. Grow this two times, like before. And select the material here to free. Just hit enter to apply for the settings. Now, this is the same material like the body. I think here the same. Now here, let's go here. Select these and grow. Grow, grow, grow. Until here, once more. Maybe two times more. Now, uh, we have created before. And when we are here, I will select these. Grow, grow. Too much, shrink once and give this 5. Now something similar I will do also here. So with 5 materials, I will grow, 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 until here. We have 5, I hope. So, 6th. Now, 6th, I should remember that. Now this is fine, just here, 1. Grow here, shrink. Okay, here and here. One score should be the grid, so seven. Select this bottom, and let's go. Too much actually. Just shrink. Yeah, now grow. One shrink and select this police manually here. Just the bottom is enough. This will be eight. I hope I will not do mistakes by counting. So we have eight now. Select these, 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 and these. Grow two times. Shrink. Grow again. Oh, shrink. And let's give this to 9. So we have the materials here. Now, hide selection, let's go to the bottom. Now, everything we will apply the material uh, number 1. Now, I will deselect my claw. Oh, it's deselected. No, it's not. So I will try to find this thing here and I will copy it first to iPhone 4 class, select it again and just delete it. I'll move this down, just effect pivot to the center, move it down. Maybe this old X to see where it is. Yeah, like this. Now again, select everything. Just to be sure it's the one. Yeah, it is. Now, uh, let's grow this like this. And this should be the second material. Now, just here we will put third material and when we select one edge here bring it control poly and grow it like this 
I'll go a little bit more. This will be the fourth material. The rest should uh, we will keep uh, black like it should be. I hope so. So we have four materials here. I already forgot uh, what was what, but it doesn't matter. So unhide all. Rotate the screen and hide again the planes. Oh, actually we can delete them. We don't need them anymore. So let's try to do some materials here. Uh, first of all, let's do metal for the main body. Uh, so for metal, uh, we will use ray trace material, and we will just put away the reflection that we made. So ray trace. Uh, this should be fong. Index of refraction. Let's keep it two. Uh, now this we can keep like it is, and reflection should. Here we'll put just a power of map and put here Fresno and a high value. But maybe this would be enough actually. Yeah. Okay, let's see how it would be with a higher value. It's too much. So one is almost nothing. And this is enough, I think. Now I'll change the color a little bit. Yeah, it should be gray, but it's more shiny. <coughs> now we need the brass material. Oh, better, let's go to the plastic for the uh, top. So we can keep this. Oh, let's go for color like plastic. Let's keep this lower like 0 0.5. No. 0 0.5 again. My bad. Uh, more samples. 12 would be enough. Transparency to 1. No. My bad. 0. IRR can be like this. And the rest should be like default. And probably it could be. Enough good. Yeah, we will see. I uh, I don't know. Probably we can copy this. Just let's rename it by two and make a white material. And I will also copy this. <coughs> make a second and just here some color like this. And also the reflection should be higher here. Seven maybe. Now what else? Yeah, no. We'll use again this texture or material. And let's go just for free. Color let's go for blue or darker blue. And this by zero five. Now what else? I don't know. So first of all, we will do a multi sub a sub object discard, uh, discard the old material, and now I'm sure the first material will be the black one here. It stands because we want to change it after. And we can try uh, apply it here. Here it's applying. Uh, very well. Now, what was the second? I don't know. Let's try it with white and we'll see where it will be. But I will select these. Go here to poly select. Should be here. And polygon by this. This is everything. Second is this. Okay, we need this here. Now the third one is this around, uh, so here will be the white material. Fourth one is this. Okay, we need the grid. Uh, I forgot on the grid. So I'll copy 
I will copy this one. Copy this one. Change uh, the reflection to be higher here. Like 5. And we need a bump map for this. So I did a bump map. Go for bitmap. And we need to find a map here. Ooh, where do I have it? Recordings, files, F4, and textures in the grid. Now let's zoom on it to see. Okay, we have to invert it so we don't go uh, yeah, somewhere here, should be output. Invert. Ah, yeah, it's working. It's going away from the model. And we'll try to adjust here. Maybe 80, and we'll see how it will be looking. So this material should be this. 5, <coughs> let's do it white again. 6, white again. Do we have also seven? Done. So first material is done. Now let's uh, hide this selection, hide this too, and here we should have the glass. The glass we will apply another material. We'll copy this. We can copy it here. Change it to something. And keep it wide. And transparency we can go to zero. Oh maybe not. Ah one, my bad. So we'll apply this to the glass. Hide it. So hide selection, go for here and again polyselect to see what we're selecting or what we want to apply. So select this poly, poly select. Okay, the metal uh, so again notice up object material. Uh, discard the old material, apply this here, and let's go for this. Okay, and this should be this black part. Okay, the black part. And again, the black part. A lot of like material. Uh, as you can see, I'm using. Uh, we can go for the brass here. One material for a lot, a lot of things. Of course, you can do different, absolutely different. I'm just doing it because I want to do it quickly. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, we don't have any six, but we have uh, seven, on which we'll go to create. No, we'll try to move the grid there. Here we go, this and on the nine again brass. Uh, I don't think we have a ten. No. Hide this too. Now let's go rotate this. Uh, I will select here the glass and apply this one. <sighs> Take material to selection. Yep. Hide the selection. Select it again, poly select. And let's create another multi sub uh, object. Discard the old material, and I'm sure the first material will be the black one. Yep. Second is this inside, which will do uh, white. Third is this, which will be the blue one here. Four will be again white. Ah, I think that's everything, actually. There it is. Okay, we have the material supplied. Right all. And we will do a test run before we'll, uh, we will apply uh, something different. 
on it like uh, the main screen and so so I will give you a plane that it can sit on something now I will do it much more bigger like 2000 2000 yeah zoom on it to see if everything is like I want like okay keep it like this I will select this this and the bottom now I will apply uh, I will delete the smooth and apply my smooth on this but I will uh, where is it no 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 uh, mesh smooth but I will uncheck this and just put them in the main the values there so I have this and this uh, and the setup just make it wider I want to see more the details uh, let's keep this higher also this check this Oops, uh, 300 it will take a little bit more time to render but it's fine now for the plane uh, I will choose just a standard material with uh, white diffuse color so something like this apply here okay Okay, let's uh, show the same uh, safe frame. And put here just one light. I will use the skylight for this. To show the details, it should be enough. And uh, we need a HDR map here. So let's uh, select one. This is, uh, these are the default maps in Max. So I'm sure one of them will be fine. Okay, nothing so far. I think this is okay. We need just the reflection. Let's go to M and poop, drag this to some empty slot and stands and spherical. Okay, everything is set, and let's just see how it will be looking. We hit the render button. Now, so far nothing. Oh, okay. It's doing something. So, uh, in the middle we have just some plane with grey color. So we have actually something here. Something there. Okay, it's looking like a crack here. Uh, I don't remember that we had to something like this there. So I need to look on that. Actually, the iPhone is looking really nice. Don't you think? Okay, we need to work on the materials a little bit. I think a lot. Okay, the top is okay. The plastic, I think, is fine. This is bad. Uh, let's look on this. Why this is happening? I'll check the camera here. Uh, create a camera from this view. Uh, create the camera from view and just jump back to perspective. Now actually there is nothing so I don't know what is doing uh, strange things there. I don't know. Okay, I'll just keep it on nothing so far. Now we need to work on our materials a little bit, so this is not the best choice. So let's make it a little bit lighter. Go here, it's made, it's fine. Let's keep this higher. Like six. Six is too much, five. Maybe it's too much too. Let's go four. 
now the same I will change here to I need this higher let's gonna try three so much of course two should be enough and something like this yep let's see how it will be looking now we can keep a, uh, a small transparency this is metal it's nothing to worry about that we can do the same here or we can try to do it and we will see how it will be looking now we don't saw this and also, this we had the problem with this there. So the clip uh, it's very strange. I will keep this lower like 50, but it wasn't the problem. The problem was that here is no UV map. So we'll do it uh, by selecting no. Yes, these ones. Now I will apply another modifier, which is called UV map. I will use box on this and save the fit. Should be fine. Now here's one more. No, it's fine. It should be fine. The same thing I will do here. Find uh, what I want. Yeah, this one. Good catch. Again, I will apply a UV modifier with the box settings and fit it to my shape. Okay. <coughs> now, because the reflections are from the white here, uh, we will change the background. It's called camera here. We'll go with M and uh, let's do new one will uh, we'll do ray trace for this uh, now hmm. reflections we will use Fresnel to make it like a mirror on the bottom hello Fresnel and 10 no, it will be not looking fine because it will be reflecting also the HDR, so I will keep it lower, like 2 maybe, just 2, and make it more white, okay, one step uh, up and wider, like this, and we will see how it will be looking now. Uh, how about a little bit bad, oops, not bad button, render. Okay, I didn't pause the video, I was afraid that I paused the video, sorry. Now, it's also looking a little bit uh, strange because there is uh, no light, but we'll fix the light later. Okay, you see the background uh, on the bottom is reflecting what is above us. So. Okay, now it's a little bit shiny. Uh, it looks, uh, it's looking a little bit better. And uh, starting to like it. Okay, but uh, how I thought you can work uh, more on the materials. I just like my first shot of them. Okay, I will turn this off. So far, I think it's much better now. And let's go do this first, and the back. And after we can continue to try. Okay, it's better. Yeah, it's better. Much better, actually. Okay, cancel this. Now let's start the Photoshop. Now, uh, I have a nice map here of what we want is the screen. So let's uh, use the curve tool to just select the area where the screen is. Um, this 
go down this and here. Group. Okay, a little bit more from this side. Uh, view and snap can be solved. Okay, again. And from the top, we can left the small black part. Oh, we can try to delete group it too. Okay, cool. View, snap again. But we have a problem here. We have this reflection, and I don't want the reflection there. So if you have an idea how to make it disappear, uh, you can do it your way. Uh, I will show you how to delete this reflection. So we will not use any clone stamp tool or something like that. We will ju uh, just use the layer system in Photoshop. So I will copy this to preserve the uh, first copy of uh, the background. Now I will make a new layer here and I will do a selection of the highlighted area here. So I will try actually try try to do select just the area where is the reflection. See? Now fill it black. Just very simple. Go here, fill and black. Now uh, let's uh, use overlay for this. It's already looking like darker. Now it's too much dark. So let's focus on the, the part here at the bottom. So we'll just use a little bit of the overlay here to make it disappear. It's too less. Yeah, something like this. And from here there is no reflection so far. Now the reflections continue here. So let's do the next layer and do actually absolutely the same. I will just uh, control hit the selection and now deselect holding alt this. Now again I will fill it with black and turn this to overlay. Now you see it's very easy. Just need to know what to use for this. So put the opacity down like this and uh, we still have uh, this area here now it's harder to do it because uh, there is some kind of gradient of the highlight so here is a lot here is almost nothing so again I will select this and uh, create a new layer deselect until here widget and now I will use uh, the gradient tool and I will try to do it from here uh, here. But I just want the black, so like this. Again, yeah, we can try it like this. Okay. Now again, overlay, and let's focus on the part at the top now, and just move the slider until it's fit. Yeah, it's fitting. And you see, uh, the highlight disappeared, and we have a nice, uh, nice picture of it. Now we need to Control A and Control Shift C and Control V to make a copy uh, of the picture, like with all layers, uh, layers selected. And let's just delete these things here. So I will use the Clone Stamp tool. If you know how to use it, it's very easy. Hold down Alt and select the area from which you want to copy. And just copy. Copy until you have what you want. For this I will use this tool. It's the same like the uh, clone tool, but there is some differences there. The Photoshop tries to fit the colors. Uh, which you copy uh, to the background in which you copy. So let's make here some copy uh, to make disappear this line uh, here in the middle. It's just somehow doesn't matter much, nobody will see. I'm sure. Oops, it's, it's too bright here. 
let's try to use this. Yeah, it's better. Okay, I did here too much mess. I uh, will try to fix this. No. Okay, let's copy this here. And we have our background with the icons. And you see how easy it is to use the Photoshop to do this. So I will save this. I can use it like PNG. Ah, we can keep the name. Okay, and now to the back. Actually, the same issue. Uh, just we will apply this to the wall back uh, of the of our material there. So let's group this, and we will do. Um, we'll try to do a mask. So let's try to do something like this. Now let's go for the black brush, make it a little bit bigger, and just use the brush to delete something here and there, and to make the areas here just white, try to make them just white. So we'll be making some brushing now. Now I could use just the text and max, but Here we can try to learn something in Photoshop. So, just a quick uh, brushing. Now, uh, go to image, adjustment, and levels, and we'll try to make it more black. Yep. Now we have everything black, uh, just our parts here should be visible. Now, Probably I will just copy this and make the same but in invert so I will go to levels and try to make everything more and more white. Like this. And here by the apple we have something and it should be okay. Now oh, very easy, huh? Save as again like PNG and we can keep it like everything black. Now let's go to Max. Press M again. Let's choose some material here. Uh, we will use. We will use. We can use standard material I think for the background of the icons, which should be somewhere here on the. PNG files. Okay, it's here. Uh, so we have this. <coughs> now let's look at it. How it's looking? Uh, nothing special. Oops, too much. Let's keep it like this, just to make it more interesting. We'll apply again a map. To reflection, we will go, it fell off, and press all again. And actually, we, let's go better for ray trace, it will be much better. So now, again, uh, put the map inside the slot. It should be at the bottom. I'm actually looking already better. Make this more shiny. Like this. Can keep it like two. And let's go here for the map. First of all, and I will it just a value like one. Maybe it will be no reflections. So okay, one. Yeah, no reflections. So let's try two. How it will be looking, and we will see. Whew. No, I don't know. We'll see, really. Now, we'll, uh, we want to see how it will be looking here. And I want to fit it to this plane. Uh, 
it's a UV map. It and it's there. So this is the one part, and we need also the back. Now for the back, uh, we could use like next material to be much easier. Not the next material, but you will see what I mean when I uh, do it. <laughs> the perspective, I rotate it. Oops. Let's go for top. P like perspective and hide this. Now let's rotate, rotate, rotate. I have a strange feeling that I deleted something, which I shouldn't. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's just transparency here. But anyway, you can see the transparency, so it's fine. So we have this, and how many polys we selected here? Just four, I think. Five, but for sure I will do it with the sixth one. Oops, uh, X. So, uh,. I will select just these. Try to make it six, which is not working. So I think I need to go here, and we will see after. If something, I will go just back. Now I don't know if I selected the poly, but I think yes. It's by six, so let's make it six. Now let's go back here. And I think it's working actually, because, yeah, it's working. Now, we need this part, copying here, let's make it like 25, I don't know. Uh, it should be this material here, so let's try if there is 6. Yep. Yeah. We'll just edit this uh, in the diffuse slot. Here, we'll put a bitmap. Make it shine, and by selecting this, we need to apply the UV map. Now it's invert, so we need to do a mirror of this. Now something ah, flip, it's working, and we will see how it will be looking. It should be looking fine, actually. Okay, uh, I think we have some materials here which we can try to render. Now, okay, let's go back to perspective again. Now, we'll delete this and delete or hide the camera, I don't know. Unhide all, just be sure. Uh, okay, we'll try it. I will try to select uh, everything here. Oops. Just the camera and the plane I will leave. Now I will copy this. Not in this direction actually. Just here. Copy. I will group this. And rotate it like a group. Ninety degrees. Oops. Uh, Ninety degrees. Uh, one hundred eighty. So we'll have it from the uh, bottom and from this side. I think it'll be better. Now let's go to top to make some nice scene for it that we can render. Okay, perspective, and we need our lights. So I think I will use an uh, angle like this for the render. So now I need to touch the spot. So I want the main light will go from here. Okay, put it up. Okay, let's go a little bit back and up. Let's look on the settings. Uh, we can keep this to a color, I think like light blue, 
something like that would be very nice. Wait, there's a shadow would be fine, I think. Shadow. Yeah, we will see. Okay, let's put this a little bit higher and let's make this bigger. Um, uh, not not so big. Well, 60 should be enough. Now let's go to top. So we have one light. Uh, we need the second light, which will be smaller. So no shadows here. And let's go for the camera for perspective and like make our view. Maybe rotate this a little bit to see more details. And we can keep it like this. Now uh, for this background, let's go for our M like the channel. We used just this one. Okay, let's make it more darker and the reflection should be much less. Look, we have your tool. Let's go 1 8. And let's try to render this. <coughs> now, actually, I don't know how it will be looking. I wasn't trying to render before, but this would take some time to render. And I don't know. We will see. Now, so it's still doing some. Oops. Blah. Okay, the application crashed. So I hope you will have not the same problem. I will stop here because I think it's finished. And I hope you liked the tutorial. And I hope to see your renders uh, later on the forums also. So uh, I hope to see you by the next tutorial too. So bye bye.